Hi, so glad you dropped by today for some inspiration and some cards that I've created in the last couple of days. Um, and I just hope that you can be inspired and create your own creations. My name is Linda Fippen and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. So let's just get started. These are, this is a one stamp wonder. It is one stamp and it is found in our new catalog. And it might have been a stamp that you didn't actually notice. It's on page 106 and it's beside the brilliant butterflies. And it is this stamp here called Daisy Garden. Just kind of um, off in the corner. So this is the stamp that we're going to use. I've got uh, different ways that we can do the same. Uh, we can do some cards. All of the sentiments are found on page 72. And I've used these daisies as well. So um, here is the stamp itself. So it's just one large stamp and it's a little overwhelming when you see it but I use the Stamparatus and sometimes you have to re-ink and stamp a second time just to because it is so large but that's okay it can be done for sure all of the sentiments as I said are through it together and they are certainly something, words that we can share with each other that are just really encouraging. Like it says, through it together. I think it says it all. So this is the first card. And what I've done for this is I've used it as a background. So it's very subtle. And then I embossed it. So let me just show you how I've done that and get all of my supplies here. So I used this, this one is, this particular card is used with the uh, painted texture, which we all have fallen in love with. And the card that I'm just doing right now, I used a different 3D embossing folder and it is the subtle. So there it is stamped. You can see it um, before it gets on the card and all covered. And it is with the um, polished pink paper and the polished pink ink as well but it still shows up subtly but it does so it's a pretty easy card to put together and I discovered in my stash this very pretty um, it's called metallic mesh and that's exactly what it is. It has a little bit of silver in it and it adds a nice little shine to your card. So the easiest way to put this on is give it a good inking or gluing on the back. Make sure that it you get it straight and you get both of the ends because it's you don't want it to fray you get that straight yeah okay and then we just glue it down There's lots of ways to use this stamp. It's 
a little overwhelming because of the size, but it really has lots of possibilities. So what I did with the, um, the punch, look at this, I didn't lose any of them. This is the, the shimmer vellum, and it's really hard to see the shine. Let me see if I put it under the light. You can, you can see a little bit of it, but it does have a very pretty sparkle. But because I'm putting it on the pink, I wanted to have a little bit of white behind it, just ever so subtle. So I did... Um, if you just give it just a little then it shows up quite nicely let me get over here and you can also turn up the vellum so it gives a 3d look I didn't hold on to that quite long enough. And then a large one. Got a new glue here and it's coming up quite quickly. Way too much glue on that one. Okay, then I've got one here. The placement really, it's just a preference for yourself. sentiment, which is very lovely, says, you are proof there is good in the world. Isn't that awesome? So, just have to wait my hand to get all this glue all over. So, I put the, um, the dimensions on here already. You are proof there is good in the world. Very, very nice. Okay, so on the inside, I will put the measurements um, under the description. And I do want to thank um, all those who subscribed. It's very encouraging gets my creative juices going. And I just put three of these daisies on the inside. So you can write your own personal message. And For the, um, I put a few of these rhinestones, the biggest one on the big flower, two smaller ones. And these daisies were just punched out 
with the two daisy punches, which makes it very, very easy to make flowers. So that is card number one. Pretty easy card and looks quite lovely. Now you might be wondering what these pieces here are. That comes with card number two and three. So this is the card. Again, I, I stamped the background in Highland Heather. And then we have, here it is. These are called Picture This Die. And this is what it looks like. So when you um, put it through your embossing machine, I made two copies of the same um, stamp. And so what I'm going to do, not put this on, but the pieces that fall out, it's like putting a puzzle together, and you just add them to where they were cut out on the previous piece, so it's like a puzzle. So this one goes here. top one goes here. I've got glue on my fingers again. <laughs> so then you use dimensionals to lift it up to give it that um, 3D look. why I didn't put these on here already, but it'll be quick. So I didn't use the third one, the, th the third um, piece that comes out, because I want to put the sentiment there. So you just like I mentioned, we just um, okay. So we're lining it up. Okay. So there's the stem. There we go. And there it gives, you can see the dimension on there, it lifts it up. And the Highland Heather is, did a really nice job with its stamping and I like the color on this one. hope that uh, all these little pieces get in the can so you don't have to pick them up later. Okay, so this one as well. So you've got a stem there. Stem there. I think I need to lift it up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And the sentiment on this one is sending you a paper hug. So I used the, this um, 
glitter ribbon. It uh, is quite pretty. And it adds a little sparkle. So I don't have an, um, a bow, but just a knot is works very well. And sending a paper hug in this in these days, paper hugs will do. Nothing like the real hug, but we will. Be encouraged with the paper hug, knowing that eventually we will get back to real hugs. So nicely centered. I'll just take a little bit more off of this. I used. Um, some DSP paper with a little bit of a design. It seems to be a little hard on the eyes when you have the whole piece, but when it's just a border. And then on, for the inside, I just put the paper itself in the stamparatus where the stamp is and just did the top parts and the bottom, of course. And the... Um, stones that we're using are, what are these ones here called? Pastels. So I use the, um, the darkest one here. There we go. Card number two. A paper hug. And the sentiment that I, I cut out, I used with these uh, tailored dies, um, tags, there we go. Uh, so there's different sizes, so um, quite, Quite nice to use for a sentiment, for sure. Okay, so that is that particular die. So it also comes with the circles. And this is equally as fun. So I did the same thing in terms of... Um, So you need to stamp two of the exact same stamp, of course. And this, there, that's what the card looks like. And again, it's a bit of a puzzle when you cut it out. And the sentiment I use is, I miss you, which we certainly can be saying that. So, let me just show you how this one is lined up. 
it's the same way. And what I did was I used one of the um, one of the circles for the sentiment itself. So you can you don't have to put them all down because there's two for it. There's six um, holes that you can use. So just pick one for your sentiment. And of course it is round, so it can go anywhere you wish it to. So I hope you've had a good week. Enjoyed the lovely sunshine, getting uh, getting outdoors. The weather is definitely getting nicer. So I did lay these out so I could remember where they went. Fortunately, it's not a thousand piece uh, puzzle. <laughs> we can manage a six piece puzzle. Okay, so this one goes. And we decide it goes here. Line it up. Puzzle piece number two. And let's see, we'll do one more. That one there. And who couldn't send a card that says, I miss you? Lots of people in our lives that we're missing these days. But that's okay. That too will pass. Keep telling myself this is just six pieces. You can do it. There we go. And when you, it doesn't matter, of course, where you where you put your sentiment. Or which flowers you choose to use. And this one doesn't have to be lined up with anything. So I'm just going to stick it right here. Now I cut the white piece, of course, so you could use your sentiment for any one of these. And this had some DSP on it as well that I used. So that's what this card ends up looking like. And what I did for this one, you may or may not want to do this, is I kept the piece that I used and um, put that on the inside. And then I just, you can fill it in with the white pieces or you can just write your sentiment on there. But I guess I had the white pieces in because I used my um, DSP because otherwise you wouldn't really have a place to do that. So that's why I saved these. So just put them, let me see, that. that's not what I want to do. There you go. See, that's way too busy. So then just put your pieces back in and then you can add your little comments. 
so it doesn't look quite so busy. So there we go, they all fit in. And that's what I did. Not sure if that's too busy or not, but you're missing someone, so that is card number three. Okay, so let me just get this out of these. So th those are quite fun. Um, I think there's lots of possibilities for these. For these, you just oh, I thought they were fun. So I enjoyed that. This is um, if you want, if th for those who are colorers, enjoy coloring. You can also stamp this and color it any color you wish. I didn't make a card of this, but just to show you the possibilities of this uh, card or this stamp. So the last card I have is um, a really fun card. They're all fun, but there's lots of pieces to this one. so. Just give me one moment. This is the card, what it looks like. And I used this die from the Scallop Contour set. It's quite pretty um, and it adds a nice uh, a nice border. So this card, let's see if I've got all my pieces this time. Okay. So another way that you can manage these huge die, if you don't want to color it, is you can use the blending brush. And I'm using Daffodil Delight, and I did a kind of an ombre look, starting off at the top, making it as dark as you wish, now that's pretty easy coloring, what do you think? And then just lightly near the bottom and it can even go darker you just keep going covering your brush when you're doing this you just want to make sure that you go off your paper a little bit because you can get like gobs of color and then you have to do a lot more brushing than that so that is the front cover that goes on my black. And I liked that the black brings out the color in the, uh, the card itself. So the front card, the front is very, very easy. And I also want to show you when you do a sentiment and you want you want to have a little border around it. This is a little trick that I've learned over the years. Cut two of the same um, from the punch, and you just glue on each side, and you have a border. So that's, that's fun. 
So while we're doing the front, let me just finish the front off here with some more dimensions. And then I will show you what I did on the inside. which took me quite a few tries before I figured it out. So now that I figured it out, I will share with you and you won't have to be doing the tries. Okay. This particular stamp sentiment says you are loved today and always. Isn't that oh, just so nice? And I just put butterflies on this one. And some black. Some black stones that are here somewhere. There we are. So that, as soon as I get these out, will be the front of the card. The inside of the card does take a little bit of maneuvering. But anyway, so there's our front card, front of the card. Now what I did on the inside of this was a pop-up card. So when you open it up, your flowers pop up. So the tricky the trickiest part of this was figuring out the measurements. So let's see if we can get this figured out. The sheet is six inches and by four, and it is scored um, three uh, three quarters of an inch on the inside, and I have double tape on there. So you fold it over, and that is the inside of the card. It took me several tries. Now, this is acetate, and it's like over, overhead transparencies. You could use an actual, um, you could use cardboard, you could use anything you wanted. So all I did was kind of figure out where I would like to have these. So the nice thing is you can um, you can cut them after you get them on as well. So that one's over too far. So one, two, three. Oh, I don't need to cut that one. Okay. Then what you need to do is to match this up. Then we glue it down, which is a lot of gluing. <laughs> Where would we be without our glue? Now that I've done that, I'm going to get rid of that. See, when you have the correct measurements, it lines up very nice. I guess I have the... Okay. Then it's just a matter of decorating on the inside of the card. So I have, um, I put two of these black 
and yellow strips because it's a lot of white. And the stamp, you could stamp on the inside of this. And you could um, pretty much do whatever you wanted. Like the others, you could put some um, some die cuts in here. So a little stripe on the bottom, little stripe on the top, because it is a lot of white. You could also put some DSP on there as well. Now on this one, I had cut some daisies to put in there. And uh, I thought I would try, because we do have some butterflies on the front, to try a couple of butterflies. See what you think about that. And because these are see-through, they you can really do whatever you wanted. Just need to hold that. And I will put another butterfly here. And if you found that it didn't stick the way you wanted, I'm sure a glue dot, any number of things could work. So there it is, my pop-up card. With butterflies this time, the daisies for the other card. You can add a few extra butterflies down here if you wished. And that is our card. Yeah, that one's not quite dry, so I don't want to squish it dry. So those are our cards that, that we put together today. I hope you enjoyed and found some inspiration. And there we go. Four cards with one stamp. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a good week. And um, thank you very much for subscribing and your kind comments. All the uh, directions I'll put under the description. And um, I will see you next week. So thank you again for dropping by. Have a great week. And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.